So, Ronnie, you've had a very, very long career. I wonder if you can pick out some highlights, perhaps from the start of your career or something special that happened later on. Well, I, well, if you go back to the beginning, a highlight was me being allowed to dance. I wrote to Marty Rombert to say, could I come along on Saturday morning when I finish my paper round to learn something about ballet, just on Saturday morning. So a reply came, come along on Saturday. I went along on Saturday and Rombert said, well, can you do a plie? So I did a sort of pretty rough plie. Do you know an arabesque? So I did my version of an arabesque. And she said, jump. I said, oh, yes, I like jumping. She said, well, jump. So I just jumped. And she said, jump higher. That's very wrong there. Always get it wanting more, even from that early day. I jumped higher. She said, now jump higher and point your feet. So I jumped higher and attempted to point my feet. And she looked at me, she said, I think you could be a dancer. I think you could have a career. Well, you must remember that this was 1946. The war that had only just finished and the, most of the male dancers from the previous generation were either called up or retired or whatever. So any boy who walked in to the Mercury Theatre would be grabbed and she grabbed me, fortunately. And for that led to me having a couple of years in the company, a few other engagements in light theatre. Uh, then I auditioned for Sadler's Wells Ballet and De Valois took me. She had seen me dance with the Ballet Rombe and she said in her wonderful Irish way, I thought I'd seen those legs before. <laughs> and from there I joined the Corps de Ballet and I moved up small shows until I became a principal dancing all the big classical roles, Swan Lake, Sleeping Beauty, Fireburn. Luckily, with my wife, Annette Page. So that was a bonus, having a lovely wife in the company. And we danced everything together. And when she retired, I was appointed director of the Bavarian State Ballet in Munich, which was wonderful. A poison chalice working in Munich. It's a great opera house. The ballet has to claw for everything. And we clawed, we got lots of performances, but that was fine. And then I became freelance and Belle de Grey offered me my first professional ballet, Dvorak Variations, which I know Deborah has danced in. And from there, I formed a very close and a long relationship with London Festival Ballet, which became English National Ballet, and that dates back to 1970. 1970 until a few days ago, I was back working with them. So it's endured that. Meanwhile, I've danced in, choreographed and danced in, I could nearly say, all the great theatres in the world. Very lucky. So on the subject of, of relationships, um, and experiences that you've had over the years. Are there any other special uh, sort of partnerships or whatever that you, you can remember and cherish? Well, strangely enough, I was only fairly recently flipping through uh, YouTube and they have a recording of my Nutcracker it was there. I thought, gosh, I haven't seen that for years. And I put on a bit of it and it was a wonderful dancer, Eva F. Dokimova, with a wonderful German dancer, Peter Breuer. And I just looked at it and they were so beautifully together. And her style, to today, it looked slightly old fashioned, which I thought was wonderful. There was a sweetness about it, a sort of truth and a charm, which the dancers today are 50 times 
Well, no, she was wonderful, but technically wonderful. But that sort of old charm, which was perfect for, for an old romantic ballet, I th was just so thrilled to see it and to see Peter Breuer, who was a tall boy, much taller than I am, with a wonderful technique. He could do everything. Splendid. And they all, they all become friends when you work with them. That's a lovely thing. All these people all over the world, you feel that they are your friends because we've worked and played a bit together. And, you know, what a benefit, what a blessing is that for a choreographer who is lucky enough to go from company to company, meeting all these wonderful dancers and these wonderful people. I've been very blessed. I've been very lucky in my life. So, Ronnie, what does it mean to you to have been awarded um, the De Valois Outstanding Achievement Award? Well, the fact that it comes through De Valois, and De Valois was the person that promoted me from corps de ballet up to a top soloist with my wife. I mean, that was a very, very wonderful thing in our lives. And um, I'm just utterly surprised that out of the blue, suddenly, this wonderful award is coming. And I'm quite flabbergasted and utterly delighted. And I can only say thank you. Thank you, Ronnie. Not at all. Thank you, Deborah.